So food service management, I think, is a wonderful choice for students, particularly if you're not set on going into clinical. Um, there are so many different things that you can do. So first of all, there's food service within the hospital systems or the clinical side where you run kitchens, manage kitchens. Um, so there's that one avenue. We have school food service, and um, that's actually a wonderful field, in my opinion. I personally like working with children, um, so I like that side, but not that you would work with children all the time. You'd be more in a managerial um, capacity, most likely. Um, but the hours in terms of uh, food service, school food service, has a really nice... Um, I think it fits nicely into um, more normal lifestyle than some of the other food service um, positions would be, certainly hospitality and restaurant food service. Um, it's exciting, it's fast paced. Lots of people love that. Um, one difficult part about working in restaurants or um, that side of the industry in the hospitality industry is that you work a lot of nights, weekends, and holidays whereas school food service is more of a regular schedule, Monday through Friday, um, less weekend work, you have more of the holidays off. Um, so in that regard, um, in terms of lifestyle, it, it's a more of a regular lifestyle um, and great work as well. Um, and then there's the county um, education um, side and then you're working within the county system and working for government has its benefits as well. Um, and it's more of a regular nine to five job, although um, if you're doing nutrition education, you might be working some evenings, um, a few weekends here and there, but more of a regular lifestyle. But working through the county, for example, you could be doing um, nutrition education programs in a school or putting on a health fair, um, all kinds of different um, nutrition education components there that would be interesting and someone in food service management could do that as well um, there's private industry so I know people who have gone into um, brokering food brokering for example or who have worked with um, one of the supplement companies not supplement companies but um, for example um, Nestle who has the tube feed and the infant formulas for example um, who works in that um, field and so it's basically like being a pharmaceutical rep, except that you're representing um, uh, nutritional products. So you would still go visit doctors and nurses and um, private practice um, as well. So that's another um, place that students could look. Um, but really there's so many different ways that you can go with a degree in nutrition and it doesn't have to be just clinical.